In this video, we'll share the top 15 things to do in Odense. At number one, we have the enchanting Egeskov Castle. This Renaissance water castle, constructed in 1554, stands majestically in the middle of a lake. Its architecture is reminiscent of fairy tales, and inside, visitors can marvel at a collection of vintage cars and bikes. At number two, we have the Hans Christian Andersen Museum. Located in the author's birthplace, this museum offers a glimpse into Andersen's early life, showcasing his drawings, manuscripts, and personal belongings. At number three, we have Hans Christian Andersen's childhood home. This half-timbered house provides insights into the author's formative years, revealing intimate details about his early memories and connections to Odense. At number four, we have Brandt's Kladefabrik. Once a textile factory, this place has transformed into a hub of culture and shopping. From contemporary art exhibitions to lively cafes, it's a must-visit for art and shopping enthusiasts. At number five, we have the Odense Zoo. Home to 147 different species, this zoo offers unique experiences, allowing visitors to get up close with animals like giraffes, tapirs, and lemurs. At number six, we have the Carl Nielsen Museum. Dedicated to the renowned classical music composer, this museum displays Nielsen's personal possessions and offers insights into his life and works. At number seven, we have Gallery Galcio. This expansive art workshop showcases the works of Jens Galcio, one of Denmark's most celebrated artists. Visitors can explore the bronze foundry, sculpture garden, and indoor art gallery. At number eight, we have the thrill of a football match at Odense Bold Club. Experience the electrifying atmosphere as the local team competes in the Superliga, cheered on by their passionate fans. At number nine, we have the Danish Railway Museum. Dive into the history of rail travel in Denmark, exploring vintage locomotives and carriages, including the iconic E-Class engine. At number 10, we have the Funen Village. This open-air museum transports visitors back to the Hans Christian Andersen era, with staff dressed in traditional attire, reenacting daily life from the past. At number 11, we have the local market. A haven for food enthusiasts, this market offers fresh produce and regional delicacies, giving visitors a taste of authentic Danish cuisine. At number 12, we have Montergarden. Located in a stunning Renaissance house, this museum delves into Odens and Funen's rich history, from prehistoric times to the Middle Ages. At number 13, we have a culinary journey at Dengami Kro. This historic inn serves traditional Danish dishes, offering a delightful gastronomic experience in a charming setting. At number 14, we have the Odense Bunker Museum. Step back in time and explore this underground bunker, which served as a command center during the Cold War era. At number 15, we have the picturesque town of Kerteminde. Known as the Garden by the Sea, this coastal town boasts beautiful landscapes, gardens, and a serene ambience, making it a perfect getaway. So that sums up my top 15 things to do in Odense. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.